If you have a Canva account, then you need to try this. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a countdown timer using Canva. And that's not all. I'm also going to be showing you how to use this skill to make money online for yourself. And guess what? It's not even difficult. It's something that you can learn in just a few minutes and then let your creativity run wild. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. So to get started, all you have to do is to fire up your Canva and then click on videos and click on create blank. Come to elements and then search for circle. So now we have the circle, right? Click on see all. Yep. And then we'll select this and make it big, right? like this. It's not a must that you have to use circle. You can actually use any shape whatsoever, depending on what you're trying to achieve or depending on the usage of the countdown timer, because this countdown timer can be used anywhere. You can use it on your church streams. You can use it on your streaming, your YouTube streaming. You can use it on your Facebook streaming. And again, you can also sell this to people that need it and make money off of it. I'm still going to show you guys how to achieve that. So moving on, we're going to look for any other shape or any other thing that we can just slap on and use that. So let's quickly use this. I think this is good. So we're going to use this as it is, it's perfect as it is, right? <laughs> so now we have this. The next thing we're going to do is to change the background color. It can just be any color whatsoever. Just use your discretion, let your creativity run wild. And also like I usually do, you can actually scrub through to know which one that comes out best and then use that for your design. So for the purpose of this training, I think something like this is okay. So I'm going to be using this color. And now that we have this, the next thing I'm going to do is to put my write up. It's very easy to do this. Trust me, guys. Then for your write up, you click on add heading and then put your number. So now that I have this, if I type in, let's say 2.0, right? You can see how it appears. It doesn't look good at all. So you have to start with the highest number in your countdown to be able to get it perfectly. So for the purpose of this training, we're going to be using 2.00. That is the highest number in our countdown. So we have this right here. So we're going to resize this to perfectly fit in like so, so that by the time we bulk create, everything will now be perfect. It's, it's amazing. So now that we have this, we are actually done with this design. The next thing we're going to do is to simply come over to design. Let's say you don't like the color or you don't like the font and you want to try out something. You can actually come to design and then click on styles. And then you can play around the styles that you have here. You have the combinations and then you have the color palettes. So you can actually work with the color palettes if that's what you want. Any design, any color that you want is totally fine. And then it's also going to give you an option to change the font. But let's say, for instance, you like your color the way it is, but you want to change your font. You can actually come to this font set and select any font that best suits what you want. As you can see, the font is changing, the, the numbers is changing. So I think this is, this, this is pretty much okay. We can actually work with this. It looks more digital, right? Right? <laughs> it looks more digital, but you can just take your time and still look for any other thing that might look better. You know, you can work with anything. Depending on what you're trying to achieve, just let your creativity run wild, like I will always say. So we're going to work with this as we have it here. And then the next thing we're going to do is to add a little text here. It's not compulsory. You can choose to do that or you can just leave it like that. So you click on add heading and then you drag this here. Then you drag this text here and resize it. And then write minutes to go. It could be anything. We're going to work with this here. So now we have something like this and we can make it bold and turn it to white. Let's turn it to white here. So now we have white color. So now that we have this, let's move over to the next phase and we're going to be using spreadsheet for that. You can use Microsoft Excel Sheets or you can use Google Sheets. Anyone that you want to use is totally fine. I love using Google Sheets, so I'm going to pretty much use this. And the first thing I do once I come to my sheet, because I've had issues of finishing and then downloading as an untitled spreadsheet, and I will not be able to find it again. So the first thing I do is to title my spreadsheet. So here you can just put in timer right? Or anything you want to name, you know, title it. Then here you come here and then start with the highest number in your countdown. Don't ever, ever start with one or two. If you have a five minute countdown, what you're going to write here is 5.0. If you have two minutes countdown, like you're going to be doing, you're going to have 2.0. You're going to start your number one page with 2.0. So here I'm going to add 2.0 here and then come over here and then put 1.5 
59. So if you have a five minutes countdown, you're going to put in five minutes, that's 5.00, and then you're now going to put 4.59. If you don't do it this way, it's not going to work, guys. So please make sure you do it. And then to highlight this, we're now going to automate this. Of course, we are not going to do this all the way down. We can't do it manually. It's going to be time consuming. So I'm going to show you a cheat on how to do this. So to do this, all you have to do is to hold down shift and highlight this like this. So it's highlighted. But if you don't want to do that, you can also use control A if you're using the Windows or command A if you're using the Mac. So for the purpose of this training, I'm just going to do any of them. Anyone works, right? So the next thing you're going to do is to come over here and drag this down all the way down to hundreds, right? So you can actually stop anywhere and check the numbers that you have. If we stop here, you can see we have 0.14. That's 14 seconds. That's where it stopped. So we're going to come down to see what we're going to have here. So now we have 0.01 and we're going to do this here so we'll have 0, 0.00 perfect right so now we have a perfect time code from 0, 0.00 to 2.0 so the next thing we're going to do is to save this if you're using your microsoft excel sheet you're just going to save it as a csv file but if you're using your google sheet all you have to do is to come over to files and download as a csv file because google sheets you know saves automatically right <laughs> so we're going to just download this as a csv file and now it's downloaded to our system we'll move over again to canvas so now that we have the design perfectly done the next thing we're going to do is to click on ball create i've actually done a series of canva ball create in the past and i'll leave the link in the description so that you can go through the videos and learn more about canva ball create how you can create 40 instagram posts in two minutes and also how you can create instagram reels as well in two minutes it's amazing what you can achieve with this ball create so i'll leave the link in the description and i'll also leave the card here so go watch it after watching this video of course so now we'll come over here and click on upload csv file to upload that file that we downloaded to our folder so now we have that selected we'll click on open and then it's going to come up here and then you come over here and highlight this text and then click on this more and you will see connect data then you click on this 2.00 and you have it perfectly selected and then all you have to do right here is to click on continue. So the next thing you're going to do is to click on generate 120 pages and it's going to go ahead and generate 120 pages for us automatically. Now, can you imagine what you could have done if there's no option for this? It would be very tasking and a lot of people wouldn't want to do this. Like, how do you start creating these numbers 420 times? It's going to be incredible right <laughs> this is the grid you can see 120 pages generated and it's amazing how it looks amazing right and now if i replay it now you can see that it's going to take it a lot of time to move from 159 to 158 to 157 so i know your question would be but how do we turn this to a countdown <laughs> let me quickly show you how you can achieve that all you have to do is to highlight this first video and then you come over here and click on this edit timing click here and then use take this down to one second, right? One second. And if you leave it like this, it's going to apply it to just one page, but to apply it to all the pages and have the effect on all the pages, all you have to do is to click on apply to all pages here. So now we have this looking amazing. <laughs> so now let's quickly preview this to see how it looks. As you can see, our countdown is looking pretty. Pretty, right? <laughs> so now that it's looking pretty and everything is perfect the way we want it, the next thing we're going to do is to click on share and hit on download, and then you hit on download. Now it's going to start downloading, and I'm going to quickly show you how you can use it to make money for yourself, because my primary goal for teaching you these digital skills is to show you how to use these digital skills that you're learning on this channel to make money for yourself, and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So you come over to Fiverr, and then you type in countdown timer, right? countdown timer we're going to search for countdown timer and you can see right here that just 58 people are offering this service in the whole world so this is a no competition niche like this is a very very low competition so what it means is that once you create this gig you stand a better chance of getting lots of others and guess what i've done a tutorial where i shared 21 fiverr alternative that will help you make money online as a freelancer so imagine creating gigs for this countdown timer on all the 21 fiverr alternative imagine how many others you'll be getting in a day 
from each of the platform. It's going to be incredible, guys. I'm talking about skills. If you're wondering how you can change a product color from red to yellow to, to blue to green, any color that you want, or maybe you're doing a design for a client and the client is wearing a particular color, but you think that the design will come out perfect if the client was wearing a particular color, actually, maybe yellow or red, you can actually change whatever your client is wearing from that color to another color. If you want to learn how you can change the colors, then I recommend that you go watch this video next to learn how you can do that perfectly in just one minute, in less than one minute even, because you're going to be doing this with your mobile phone and a free tool. So go ahead and watch this. But if by any chance that you have seen this video, if by any chance you have watched this video, then this is the next video that YouTube recommends that you watch on this channel and you're going to learn more digital skills that you're going to use to make money online. So please go ahead and watch either of the videos and thank me later. Kemechan.